<laughs> when I started my career, a lot of people say, no, you cannot be a fighter, what are you doing? I always think like the girls can fight like a man. And every time I step in the cage, it was not just for me, it's for all the women who have a dream, even if nobody believes. I bring uniqueness every time I jump in that cage. As brutal as the sport can look sometimes, when you watch me on the screen, that's a fight you'd probably be happy to go, mom, check this out. Auntie, check this out. You know, like there's, there's people that have no interest in combat. They're like, oh no, I can never watch that stuff. But then they enjoy watching my style. You give up too early, something starts to hurt. Something starts to fade a little bit. If you don't accept it, you work around it. You can get stronger, you can get younger, you can get better. You know, he's like the ultimate underdog story, and that's what he brings to the table when he's on the bike. So, new lead change, and it is Josh Heron. It's so easy to just quit and give up on stuff, but I've never been like that. Like, I want to finish. If someone tells me no, I'll find a way to do it. The biggest challenge that a young female racer coming through would have to face is how thick-skinned you have to be. You really need to have that ultimate burning desire and obsession, otherwise you'll just get eaten up alive.